I've been putting this off for a while. I've got this wire just, well, rigged up that goes out through what's supposed to be a stove vent outlet. And again, it's just rigged up and I need to put conduit in here. So anyway, today's the day. Let's go outside and see what we're dealing with. And I've been putting this off because, well, it doesn't look like a whole lot of fun to get back there and work on this. And well, it sucks. So that's a good reason to put it off. Here. and of course it's also been like 100 degrees out here lately so at any rate that is where it's got to come out so what I got to do is drill a hole in the wall somewhere and uh, that's right now's project and then we're just gonna come down and drop out with uh, I don't know we'll figure it out all right so this drill bit is from the Drill Bits I Hate collection in my toolbox, uh, also known as Drill Bits I Will Never Use Again, um, because Hardy Board is pretty destructive to drill bits. And with luck, yep, that's going to work. wasn't so bad all right so I'm just testing this and I, I can put this in through here it's gonna be a nightmare to work on the inside of there so what I'm gonna do is glue this up out here and then put it in all right so I don't have any of the gray PVC glue but it really doesn't matter you can use any color you want so I'm using red hot or Christie's blue glue also sometimes called wet or dry all right so it's in now what I need to do is work on the inside and then I'll trim this and put a fitting, an elbow fitting in and drop it down to a better place. All right guys, I can't film in that corner, so sorry. You wanna pay attention to which way your openings face when you're placing this stuff. It will make your life hell or simple when it comes time to route your um, your, con your uh, wire. And you don't wanna go above four 90 degree bends or you'll be sorry. That's the nicest way I can put it. So, you get You don't have a pair of these you can buy them at home depot for 15 or 20 bucks or you can get them on amazon for about eight bucks i'll put a link in the description of the video and they work just like scissors but they're for pvc pipe and pex tubing And this doesn't have to be water or airtight, so you don't need a whole lot of glue. This glued in it's screwed into that 2x4 there it comes up and it comes over and then it terminates over here 
which is pretty close to where it needs to go. So that's good enough for the indoor work. I'm gonna do a little bit more outdoor work. Uh, I need some strapping to hold this still. I don't need it, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. So anyway, let's go outside and get some stuff done. So first thing we need to do is figure out where we're gonna cut this. And it looks like about where that little mark is. <clears throat> this is a little dull, but they are pretty awesome tools. And uh, there'll be a link in the comments that uh, goes to Amazon where I got that one from. They're not very expensive, seven, eight bucks. It's a very non-scientific way to get that in there. Just want to make sure it's all the way in so what we're going to do right next is run some conduit down be right back so this is called a pulling elbow or an elbow and the point of this is this cover comes off and it gives you a place to pull the cable out and then start again it just makes it a little easier and it resets the number of bends that you have so you can only do 360 degrees or four 90 degree bends in a run of, of conduit all right that's looking really good so let's go downstairs and work on it because we're done up here all right so i was gonna hold off on this but i realized i can put screws in to hardy board so that's what i'm gonna do now i am using treated screws Good enough it doesn't have to be completely up against the wall i just don't want it moving so i've got some longer screws to go here probably not ideal but it will work cut this twice a little wasteful but I don't know exactly where I want it and I need to swing free to figure that out so there isn't really a nice answer um, but that's kind of where it needs to go so I'm gonna cut it about there get the box over it back. Now 
this is going to look a little wonky because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to set it and then I'm just going to leave it hang. And it's going to be a little crooked because that'll fix itself when I force the pipe to go where I want it to go. And I don't have the screws for that at the moment, so that's going to have to wait till tomorrow.